Hey fans, Cast King Pro Brent Chapman here, and I make my living fishing, and being organized is a big part of that. And I want to tell you about this cool new product from Cast King. It's the V10 LS Rod Rack and Spooling Station. This thing is really, really cool. Uh, you know, going fishing, a big part of that is being organized. And what this thing is, it's a spooling station, but only takes up 18 inches of wall space. You can mount it on any wall. Comes with the hardware to do that. You can do it on 16 inch centers right into the studs, or you can do it in the sheetrock either way. It'll work uh, with this semi-circle design. Doesn't take up a lot of space, and you can mount it on you know, whatever height you want to, you know, depending on your garage or shop or storage space that you have, you can do it however you want and it really uh, works out great. I've, I've got hundreds of rods, but I still have to be organized. And what I love about this deal is if, let's say if I'm going crappie fishing with a buddy this weekend, I can just rig up, you know, six, eight, 10 rods at a time and have them here ready to go for that particular trip. Another deal where, I, where I, I'll use it a lot is uh, packing, packing my boat for a tournament, rigging up certain rods so I can get the combo set up here I want, put the line on them, rig them up there, that way, and then boom, right into my boat. So uh, this thing's really a, a cool additive. It's gonna make me more organized, have my rods out of the way, protected. Uh, you know, with that, let's get into some of the other features. The great thing about the V10 LS is it allows me to store either 10 rods or 10 rod reel combos and only 18 inches of space. These cups, you can change them to either be up or down. And as you can see, what this does is it allows you to stagger these rods and reel combos to where the reels aren't banging into each other. And it gives you that much more capability to hold rods. And all I have to do if I want to raise it up is all I do is I take this, turn this thing counterclockwise till that comes out like so pull that up and if I flip this over I take this small notch set it down in the center of that turn that till it locks and now it's standing up 10 rods up into an 18 inches of space and there's even a storage tray to hold your tools during the spooling process so even up here at the top it's got these awesome little rod holders here and you can see this rubber little keeper that holds it in place and you can see the diameter is big enough it will hold rod rods of any diameter and it's nice and soft so it doesn't damage your rods either and here's what i really love about the v10 ls is it's not only a rod rack but it's a true spooling station and i can do spinning or casting reels with the correct tension with no line twist let me show you how this works this is really cool how this works so we're going to do this rod right here so pull this rod we'll set it to the side and uh, first what we're going to do, just like the cups at the bottom, we're going to remove this little rod guide up here and we just do a little quarter turn clockwise and this pops out. We're going to put this down in our little storage area and now we're going to pull out this key and the uh, line guide here and it's got the same teeth on it just like the uh, rod guide here. So we're going to put this down here and uh, slightly uh, add to the left and we're going to turn that a quarter turn and lock that in place and we've got our key here and this is to hold our spool on so we're going to set this to the side for right now now we're going to do 13x finesse braid and here's the other cool little feature is we've got this line boss right here that we're going to put on our spool and this is what creates the tension so we're going to take our line boss here take our braid and we'll run this through this little grommet from the white side, the, the inside out, like so. And here's a good way to do this. We take this and we're going to hold this from the bottom, right, like so. And you can see this little keeper. We're going to pull that tight to create that tension on this spool. So now our line is good and tight on here. But now the big key is we want to make sure this line's coming off the left side of the, the spool so we don't get line twists on our, on our spinning rod. So now take this key and this thing's not completely threaded it's just all you got to do is do a quarter turn so we're going to take that put it in in the uh, line guide here get it in quarter turn actually kind of just push that in you're not trying to make it tight quarter turn and now that's locked into place it's not coming out so now we thread the braid up through here like so and now we're ready to hook it up to our spinning rod Okay, so we did the spinning 
Now let me show you how to do a casting, very simple, with the proper tension. So we've got our setup here, we got the line guide, got our key, so we're gonna go ahead and pull the key out of here because we don't need it for this setting, so we're gonna put it down here in the storage area. And uh, so what we've got back here is we've got this little uh, spool holder, this little rod, it just pops up and you can put your spools on here. Got about four spools on here now. This thing will probably hold 10, but it's just a great way to keep them. And what's great about this is it's already got the line boss on it, just like you saw in the spinning. But what we've got, and it's really important, this is coming off the top of the spool. So you can see this is coming, rolling towards you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, run it through the line guide like so. And as you can see, that's rolling off the top of the spool with the line boss. Now let's hook this to the rod and reel it on. So there it is, the Cast King V10 LS Rod Rack Spooling Station, the most amazing organizing tool a fisherman could ask for. I'm Brent Chapman, good fishing.